So what's up? Nothing but said. I was getting thinking, of course, I'm always thinking about different things. But um really thinking about, like, you know, social media and things like that. Just from a conversation that, you know, I was having with someone. And I, f I feel like this is this is my personal bubble. In my personal bubble, everything revolves around me. And I don't mean that in an entitled way or like I'm better than you or bow down to me or nothing like that. What I mean is I do not expect to be first for you. But I do expect for me to put myself first. I need to take care of myself and my happiness before others. I think an example of this situation is like, for example, I don't like hurting people. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or offend somebody. Unless they just really piss me off and I really don't like them. But, you know, taking out those certain situations, I don't want to hurt somebody. But at the same time, what you have to think of is that no matter how much you don't want to hurt somebody, you're going to end up hurting somebody. Somebody's going to feel offended by you know, something that you say or do, something that you feel like is okay and there's nothing wrong with it and nobody should be offended by it. There's someone in this world who takes it very seriously and they're going to get offended. And you can't just be miserable your entire life, just walking on eggshells, trying to keep from hurting somebody's feelings or making them offended by the things that you say and do. So you have to take care of yourself so it's like a mixture of I care because I don't want to hurt you but at the same time I don't care because I don't want to hurt myself and I have to take care of myself before I take care of you and it hurts to lose friends because when you lose friends it's like this person doesn't like who I am as a person they can't accept me for who I am as a person and in most cases, I would assume 100% of the cases, but because I'm the type of person that, you know, doesn't like to really assume 100%, I'm going to say in a lot of cases, I feel like that other person also sees you as the villain. You're the bad guy. And that also hurts because you don't see yourself as the bad guy. But you have to understand that that person feels the way that they feel about that situation. On the flip side, it's also like well, that person is unable to accept me for who I am. So I need for them to not be in my life. And you also have to think about the fact that if they see you as the bad guy, they're going to demonize you. And that could put you in situations that are very bad for you. And that that's just something that you really have to consider. And if something is a part of you, like if you've been doing something your whole life, it's probably embedded into your subconscious. So you can't just wave a magic wand and all of a sudden you stop doing something. But that's how people feel. Like when people come to you and they say, oh, I feel offended by you doing XYZ or that makes me uncomfortable. It's like you don't want to make them uncomfortable, but at the same time, you've been doing it your entire life. So it's embedded into you. It's become a part of your muscle memory you do it without even thinking about it i mean nobody sits there and thinks about every single move that they make the majority of the things that you do it's just instinctive you're used to it you've done it repeatedly like over and over and over again so it just comes out chances are you're going to end up doing that thing again and when people are offended by something that you do, they tend to not be understanding and, they be, and they're like, oh, I already told you about this and you keep doing it over and over again. So you're doing it on purpose. And it's like, no, I'm, I'm not doing it on purpose, but this is who I am. I can't just I can't just stop being who I've been my whole life just like that, just because you're offended. Now I'm looking forward to untie me But they told me that I'll never be so